In a given bag of M&Ms, 20 are yellow, 12 are green, 11 are brown, and 21 are red. Number one, how many M&Ms were in the bag? To find the number of M&Ms, we need to sum or add 20, 12, 11, and 21. When the sum is equal to 64, there were 64 M&Ms in the bag. Number two, what percent of the M&Ms in the bag were yellow? We can answer this question two ways. Since we know 20 of the 64 M&Ms were yellow, we could set up and solve a percent equation, or we can represent the number of yellow M&Ms as a fraction of the total, and then convert the fraction to a decimal. For number two, we'll show both ways. To find the percent of yellow M&Ms, we need to answer the question 20 is what percent of 64? So let's write the percent equation and then solve for the unknown using our keywords shown here at the bottom. We have 20 is means equals. Next we have what or what percent, which represents the unknown, and therefore we use a variable, let's use x. And then we have of 64, of means multiplication, giving us times 64. And now to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by 64. Simplifying, 64 divided by itself simplifies to one, giving us x equals 20 64ths. And now we need to convert the fraction to a percent. To do this, we first divide, then multiply by 100, and add a percent sign. So going to the calculator, we have 20 divided by 64, enter. This gives us the decimal. To convert to a percent, we move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent sign, or multiply by 100 and add a percent sign. So we have 31.25% but we're told to round to the nearest tenth of a percent, and since we have a five in the hundredths place value, we round up to 31.3%. Approximately 31.3% of the M&Ms were yellow. Now we could have answered this question much faster by representing the percent of yellow M&Ms as a fraction of the total, or 20 64ths, and then converting the fraction to a percentage We'll take this approach for the next three questions. So number three, what percent of the M&Ms in the bag were green? Well, there are 12 green M&Ms out of 64 M&Ms, and therefore the fraction of green M&Ms is 12 64ths. To get the percent, we convert the fraction to a percentage by again first dividing and then converting the decimal to a percent. So going back to the calculator, 12 divided by 64, enter, gives us the decimal. To convert to a percentage, multiply by 100. Add a percent sign, giving us 18.75%. Running to the nearest tenth, we round up to 18.8%. Approximately 18.8% of the M&Ms were green. Next, what percent of the M&Ms in the bag were brown? There were 11 brown M&Ms out of 64. The fraction of brown M&Ms is 11 64ths. To find the percent, we convert the fraction to a percentage. So first we divide. 11 divided by 64. Enter gives us the decimal. Either move the decimal point two places to the right or multiply by 100 and then add a percent sign to convert to a percent. Because we have an eight and a hundredths place value, we round up to 17.2%. So approximately 17.2% of the M&Ms were brown. And then finally for the last question, what percent of the M&Ms in the bag were red? Well, 21 of the M&Ms were red and therefore the fraction of red M&Ms would be 21 out of 64, or 21 64ths. And now let's convert the fraction to a percentage. Once again, we first divide, 21 divided by 64, which gives us a decimal. Now we move the decimal point two places to the right or multiply by 100 and add a percent sign. To our nearest tenth, we have 32.8%. Notice here we round down because of the one in the hundredths place value.
I hope you found this helpful.